Welcome back again, rum lovers. We are here today with the Dolly's 12-year rum. This rum is another RLC's product, therefore another Foursquare product. I know there's a lot of Foursquare lovers out there, so come on and journey with me while we taste this rum. Dolly's, again, from my previous video, I explained that it was founded in 1908, one of the first companies to export rum out of Barbados, and this um, brand was purchased by um, the Foursquare Distilleries RLCs. So in the bottling, it's the same bottle that you can find on many of the Foursquare products. The Sargacity, Nobility, um, the 2008, 2007, the Mark line. All of the Foursquare bottles are pretty much the same thing. They got the Foursquare ribbon around the neck with the seal, uh, the wooden top, the whole deal. So basically, it's pretty much just doing different finishes, different varieties, uh, and just different blending flavors and bring out different lines. So the Doilies is one of their lines. Uh, honestly, it's one of the cheapest lines, but definitely is one of the most delicious rums. And I would say it's one of those bang for your buck type products. So this is for $24. I'm pretty sure I paid for this. Uh, maybe it was on sale a little bit. Maybe it was really like $26 or $27, but definitely a great tasting rum a 12-year rum out of Barbados. So while all the bottles that comes out of the four square distilleries are pretty similar, um, another thing is that the Dolly's lines, they all have different birds on the front of it, right? So this is a Macaw, and this was basically the signature of the 12-year um, Dolly's product. So 90% of the aging is done in Kentucky bourbon barrels and the other 10% is done in Madura Cas. This information can be found from the Fat Pirate rum reviewer. Uh, he's a guy online that has a ton of information on a wide variety of rums. So always excellent information, excellent research done by the Fat Rum Pirate. So we spoke enough about the bottle, we spoke enough about the distillery. Let's get into actually drinking some of this delicious rum. Nice cork. So, this rum, honestly, quite similar to the XO in color. Um, so, we're going to look now to see how long it takes to develop legs. Now, this is a true 12 year rum, not a Celera blend, which the oldest is 12. This, actually, the youngest in the rum is 12 and it is taking some time to develop some legs. So again, anytime you're looking at aged spirits, you wanna know the truth, start your stop clock and see how long it takes to develop legs. All right, so we now got some legs developing on this. Just says it's a nice rich rum, pretty defining legs coming down on the sides. Beautiful, it reached the bottom already. So it's a decent rum, nothing too thick, nothing too rich about it, but expected at least of a 12 year round to get some nice legs on it. So we got some nice fine legs. Let's nose. So on the nose, you got that um, deep woody, got some sweet. Mm. It's pretty, uh, I would say like chocolate or toffee, you know, that nice deep flavors I'm getting out of it. Mm. Honestly, slightly reminds me of El Dorado or not El Dorado. I'm thinking it's more, it gives me a similar nose to that of the rare blend on Appleton line. Uh, I did also review that video, so you could click on the link above to view that other review of the Appleton rare blend. Mm. Really nice nose, really unique nose. Now let's taste. Mm, wow, sweet. Um, almost like, honestly, I, I saw that and I felt like I, I, I had a, a Nerds or a Starburst or some one of those very sweet candy. Mm. Sweet. There's some fruit in there as well. Um, 
you get a burn similar it's a, a full mouth burn compared to when i had the exo which is another um rum that i reviewed recently um you get a full mouth burn it's a bit dry not not that dry oh man that that sweetness that you get on the back it's another flavor i'm getting there So that's just some of the notes that I could gather from this delicious rum. But what I always like to do is to see what the experts are saying. Now, I love rum, I collect rum, and I sip rum regularly, but we should always consult the experts. And their tasting notes are tropical, caramel, vanilla, coconut. They also have sugar, leafy, fragrant apple. So definitely got some sweetness, got some sugar, vanilla i'd say maybe um and maybe the sugar that they're talking about is that sugar that i that i told you i got like a candy kind of finish i think that matches up with the kind of sugar that they may be talking about um vanilla that might be some of the undertones that i did get and caramel caramel i can see that coconut and tropical hmm. let's try to taste some of these other notes that i did not get I definitely didn't get all the flavor notes that the experts had gotten. However, did get the sweetness. Did find that the nose was very delicious. Like you smell this and it has a subtle sweetness. It has a smell that kind of reminds me of Appleton 12 year. But lighter, uh, more fragrant, more, more sweetness on the nose, honestly, compared to the Appleton um taste i did get a sweet um like candy like one of those nerds or starburst type of sweetness um which was very interesting but i must say it was an enjoyable rum and uh, for 26 bucks for a 12 year rum um age madura cast so that's the thing um four square they have the they have multiple lines they have the real mccoy line they have the doilies line they have the exceptional cast line and different price points and honestly this one 26 bucks you can't beat i find it hard to pay the full price of the expensive ones which i know they are delicious as well but bang for your buck Every day sipper, every week sipper, you cannot beat a 12 year, no sugar added, no additives. Um, no, so for a beginning rum drinker, you like your rums, you may like them sweet. Um, you may not even know that they're sugar added and you may not care. And uh, that is not, there's no issue with that. Like there's some of the rums that has caramel added and stuff like that that I love. One of those is the Eldorado 12 year, right? But when you get into the world of rum and you meet the expert tasters and, and, and stuff like that, they always kind of, you know, especially the Foursquare fans, they love the no added sugar rums. So that's one of the things about Foursquare. It's no added sugar. And, you know, if you're looking at your weight or anything, Foursquare is the diet rum for you, right? Uh, but yeah, uh, Foursquare is just known for being one of those brands that don't add sugar, um, really transparent on their labeling, really transparent on their products. Uh, this is just another one of them. And to me, it's a very delicious rum. So this rum is almost finished. And the reason why it is so low is because I did carry it to a work happy hour. And most of this, I would say 90% of what's gone is from the office. So it is honestly easy for a lot of people to drink it isn't one of those rums that is too dry too jarring uh that they you know that only an experienced whiskey drinker or something uh would enjoy it is a pretty easy drinker and it's enjoyed by many so to wrap it up is this a good buy yes 26 bucks 12 year rum from barbados you can't beat it is it delicious? Yes. 
have a little bit here to finish does it stack up against many of the other rums up there i would say it does um definitely this is something that any bourbon drinker a whiskey drinker someone who likes drinks neat someone who likes you know uh, a macallan or something like that if you don't want to afford a macallan today buy a doilies you can enjoy it i definitely liked and enjoyed this drink um definitely enjoy the price of this drink and definitely enjoy sipping on this drink and explaining to you all the tasting notes and a little bit of the history behind this product so if you enjoyed this and you would enjoy many more of my other videos on the channel please hit like and subscribe i deliver new videos every week uh, i always try to to respond to whatever comments you may have any questions you may have so if you have any questions on the doilies uh, if you have any questions on any other roms if you want to suggest roms that i should review um drop a comment below drop a comment below and i'll respond to you i'll probably go out and buy it now i have a lot more roms reviewed in the back of me but i always like suggestions so let me know what you think um and we'll continue to sip on new spirits together. Cheers.